How much seafood, fish and otherwise, do you think the world takes from the world's oceans per day? Just take a wild guess. Would you have guessed half a billion pounds per day? You're going to hear that fact again in just a moment, but it bears repeating because that's what's depleting the oceans. That's why the feds today announced a plan to prevent overfishing of species like yellowfin tuna, red snapper, and Atlantic cod in U.S. waters. Our chief environmental correspondent, Ann Thompson, has our report. Beneath the ocean's surface, this spectacular array of life is threatened by the world's appetite. Scientists say already 90% of the largest fish are gone. How much comes out of the oceans every day? We do actually take something like half a billion pounds of fish around the globe. Among the species at risk, bluefin tuna, coveted at sushi bars. Mike Sutton of the Monterey Bay Aquarium calls the bluefin tuna the sports car of the sea. Fast, big, and expensive. On the retail market, a bluefin tuna, a big one, can be worth more than 100,000 U.S. dollars. A crucial part of the ocean's delicate ecosystem. Pretty soon, all that's going to be left for the catch of the day is, is species like jellyfish. Biologists say another issue is how we fish. Bottom trawling uses large nets on wheels that prowl the ocean floor, catching fish and crushing what gets in its way. Closer to the surface, fishing boats with enormous nets reel in bycatch, where one in four animals, including sharks and sea turtles, are accidentally killed or maimed. And the damage is substantial. Scientists estimate one quarter of the world's fisheries are in trouble, either overfished, depleted, or recovering from depletion. To change that, the Monterey Aquarium is educating consumers with a seafood watch card. Color-coded lists tell you what to buy and what not to. The red lists are fish that we should avoid. One safe bet is this company's albacore tuna. Instead of large nets, they catch tuna with 10-foot-long poles and live bait one at a time. There's no harm done if you don't catch the fish. It's the only tuna company certified sustainable by the Marine Stewardship Council. I believe American consumers want to make the right choices. They just need the information. Guiding consumers through the murky waters of seafood production to restore and preserve nature's order. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Monterey, California.